So you've come to YouTube to learn to tint your car or maybe even become a better pro. At Become a Window Tinter on YouTube, we have some great free videos. But when you're done checking those out, consider subscribing to our premium channel at Become a Window Tinter Pro. That's where you'll learn the tips and tricks to become an expert window tinter in a lot less time than you can by yourself. And for a lot less money than going to a window tint school. Subscribe today for a low monthly price or a discounted yearly price by clicking here on the screen or in the description below. Now on to one of our great free videos. Hey Richard and Landon from Become a Window Tinner here. If you've ever had trouble removing the rearview mirror from a Ford windshield, stay tuned. Here you see the back of the clip that holds the forward rear view mirror onto the button on the windshield. The goal is to pry away at the bottom of the bracket so that these two little ledges will be pulled away from the button. To demonstrate what's being done, the end of the mirror removal tool is taking the place of where the mirror button would be. By prying at the bottom of the clip with the tool, it will hinge the bottom of the clip outward, freeing the two little lips away from the bottom edge of the button, allowing it to slide off. That will then allow the whole mirror assembly to slide upward off of the windshield button. Now watch as the process is demonstrated. We start by spraying the clip and button with extra soapy water solution to lubricate the mirror so that it will slide off much more easily. Then while using the mirror removal tool to pry outward on the bottom of the mirror clip, we pull upward on the mirror to slide it off the button. Although this method requires prying against the glass of the windshield, if you use just the right amount of pressure, it will hinge the mirror bracket to allow it to slide off without breaking the glass. You'll know that you have just the right amount of pressure if you pull upward on the mirror while hinging out on the bracket. The mirror will slide up before you've applied too much pressure to the glass. So that's how it's done. We hope this video has been helpful for you. Hey, one thing that every window tinner needs is good advertising, like t-shirts for example. That's right. Get these custom made t-shirts with digitally printed sunglasses on the front and your tint shop name printed on the back. Go to becomeawindowtinner.com today to order yours.